Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here, and before we start the video, I just want to give a quick update on the headset. So, I have this new headset. Unfortunately, it's just, it's not going to cut it. It's not high quality enough, and it's just picking up too many sounds from around my room. So, I have ordered a super expensive headset. Um, I just decided enough is enough. You know, you guys have been wanting perfect sound quality for quite some time now, and I've been basically torturing you guys with this. So, a new headset is on the way. Um, I'm not going to give a time frame or anything just because I don't know how long it'll take. I don't think it'll take very long uh, because I've already ordered it and it usually doesn't take that, you know, too, too, too long. But for a little short amount of time, we're going to be using this headset for now. So what we're going to be showing you guys today is we're currently tied for first in power play. We're the only North American to be tied in first right now. We're popping off. So I'm going to show you three of my most recent games, which is Siege, what we did in Siege, and then after that, we're going to do a huge opening. We're going to hop on the mini and buy the world finals pack and just try and see if we can max out our mini or just get a ton of stuff. We honestly don't know what's going to happen, but let's hop into these power play games and show you guys what we did to get to first place. Okay, so what I have for you guys is the three, uh, the last three siege games. Unfortunately, I don't have anything else. I'm definitely going to be recording or showing you guys the duo showdown because, you know, I know you guys like power play and since I'm in first, I thought might as well. So I'm playing with Brayden and Alex the Grey. I've been playing with them for the entirety of the season. Um, they're not my pro team or anything. They're not my usual teammates. But power play, um, you know, it's kind of chill. And it's not too, too serious. It is cool to be first. But it's basically all dependent on the solo modes. So I thought just why not. Um, Brayden is ripping the is ripping the Barley, which is obviously the safe damage. And I'm on Rosa. I feel like Rosa is the most important brawler because even if it doesn't do the most damage or if it doesn't do... You know, the most Ike damage or something, you, you have a really big presence in the game. People can't walk up if you're positioned correctly and all that. It's tough to kill you. So I thought, um, you know, why not just take on the most important role? Um, Alex is doing a great job along with Brayden. We're currently down, actually. Pop my super over there and I, I'm able to kill the Poco. Collect the first two bolts for our team. Brayden's doing really good over there. He's going to die, but it's fine. I pick up a bolt. The bolt's left on that left side. I'm going to pick that one up and go towards the Barley over here going to be able to take him out. So I'm doing a really, really good job of maintaining control. Alex and Brayden are kind of just chilling. Not playing their best, but it is a warm-up game, so we can cut them some slack since it's the first game on. Um, and remember, for the epic win, you have to win with your Ike having more than 80%. So it's very crucial that you don't give them any pushes throughout the game. 52%, we have all of our supers. We know we're going to win, so we're just going to walk up over here. going to pop our super, and that is going to end the first game. So we did really well that game. I got star player. I moved myself from 312 up to, what is it? I think 345. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. So getting into this game, I was actually a little bit worried because they had Tick and Nita and Mortis. And especially Tick and Mortis, they're fantastic brawlers for this, for Siege to get, you know, just a really quick start. I thought we were actually going to lose the first bot. We're going to have to find a way to defend, but I'm able to pick up the first bolt over there. Gonna, gonna walk over to help Alex just commit to him because if he gets that bolt worst case scenario is we tie and then we can just go out for like another 30 45 seconds so you can get the most bolts in which I was really confident in I was just really worried we wouldn't get this first siege bot we end up getting it and Tick isn't very good defense neither is Mortis but Nita with hyper bear is really really strong so Nita's gonna hit Alex twice the tick head's going to be able to hit the bot and Nita also gets her hyper bear so she's gonna throw that down on defense Brayden's gonna take some shots in um, I'm going to get a little bit weak, so I back out, but we're currently up 3-1. to one. We have a really good advantage, and we know that they have a Mortis. So they're, it's basically a 3v2 when it comes to getting bolts. He can come in, dash, and get one, but that's about all he can do. Um, so I'm just trying to just chill over here, help support Brayden, and stay near the bolts, trying to always stay in the play. Obviously, Mortis does not do well against a Rosa, so I'm just trying to stay as close as possible. I'm able to pick up the kill and get a bolt and run away. And my teammates are doing a really good job over here, so we currently have 9 bolts to our name um we get the nine siege bot and with a mortis on defense and a tick we're looking really really confident here i'm going to just go over here and take out that tick shot and then we're going to move up we're kind of stuck here raiden's going to go in take some barley shots and he's doing a fantastic job and just doing as much damage as he can to the safe i'm going to walk up pop my super and that is going to end the second game so again another flawless victory we're looking really really good Braden played fantastic that game let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened so here we go into our final game, and we're going to be playing against a BB, a Nita, and a Tick. So maybe the meta was forming for really quick, fast starts um, and trying to one-push, because I mean, I can understand that with the epic boost. 
Um, they're able to get the first one due to speed BB, and I just move up, and I'm not allowing them to move anywhere. I'm, I was really happy positionally with how I played. I just was all over the place. I didn't allow anyone access to anything, and I allowed Alex and Brandon to kind of do a lot of work. So I was really good. But at the same time, you know, I'm not trying to take all the credit. Um, they definitely played extremely well. I'm happy with them as my teammates for this season of Power Play. So that's really cool. Um, the ticket's going to go for us. I have to hit it out of the way. And if not, I would have just tanked for it since Brayden is our damage as the Barley. He's able to hit the safe over there. Really good super. And he's going to walk up and start doing some damage. My job is basically to tank for this bot after. So I'm just going to pop my super. We're going to go in. And that is going to end the third and final siege game. So again, another flawless victory. Looking pretty good. We're going to go to the power play leaderboards. You guys know I'm tied for first global. If we go to local, it's myself and Brayden on top. Alex lost like one of the one of the showdown games he did very poorly in, so he's lower, but he's also US, not uh, Canadian leaderboards. So that's really, really cool. We're doing an amazing job. Trash Saw in number six. Shout out to Trash Saw. Anyways, that's gonna end the first part of the video. Let's hop onto the mini now and let's try and just, you know, max out our account with that offer. It's a really cool offer, so let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we are in the mini. You guys can see here is the shop. Let's just open this for fun. So what do we currently have on our mini? What are we looking for? So our brawlers, we have 27 out of 30 brawlers. We are missing two trophy road brawlers, which I'm not really worried about, but we're missing Leon. Now legendaries are always going to be in the meta. You guys can see Sandy was recently the best brawler in the game. Now Spike is one of, if not the best brawlers in the game. So Leon eventually is going to get his turn again. And I really, really want to pull the Leon. So what we're going to do, let's pause it for a sec. Let's buy these this we are amazing world finals pack let's open it and we pray that we get leon we are all set the purchase was successful 150 gems 12k coins let's open up these mega boxes so we're hoping or we're hoping sorry obviously for leon but we also want power points so what these power points is going to do is let us get some more max brawlers and with the max brawlers we're going to be able to play in power play with the mini as well currently all we have is shelly so that's not very good so you guys can see we're getting some power points over there i'm not sad at all if we just get a ton of power points to be honest i wouldn't mind that just opens the door for some power play opportunities so so far pretty decent just some points getting some gems some tickets looking pretty good not bad so let's slow down a little bit so we got 242 coins over here let's see not bad it looks like we're getting a lot on each so that's pretty cool. We're getting a def we're definitely getting a lot of coins. It looks like we're close to Poco and Nita. So hopefully we get some Poco and Nita power points. There we go. Some Poco. I can I'd honestly take any type of power points, but I really just want a little bit of options. I don't need I have every brawler to be max, just a couple. So I have some options on maps. I don't know how many we've gone through so far, but we're we're actually looking pretty good here. So far, no Leon. Some Sandy, some Colt. Oh, we're almost max on Colt too. Oh, same with Primo. Okay, so we're not that far off. Oh, really? That's all of them? Wow, that's surprising. So what's this? Power points. I could buy 336 for 672. Yep, going to buy that immediately. So let's see what we have over here. So we're going to upgrade this guy to level 9. Up to 8. Up to 8. We have a level 8 Poco. Do we have anything in the shop for our Poco? No, we don't. But we got some stuff for Colt. Um, I don't know the best way to use my gems. Let's see. So we have some level 8s. Really interesting. So level 7s. Oh, we have level 9 BB now. That's cool. Okay, so we've definitely gained some levels over here. The Gene getting up. The Crow. Okay, this guy's got to stop requesting. Hmm, so this is pretty interesting. I think we're going to open one. No, let's open two more Mega Boxes. Maybe we get some Star Power or something. Opening it up. There we go. So far. Oh! And there we go. We actually got Hyper Bear. Okay, so that's the second Brawler we can now use in Power Play. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And we're going to open up one more Mega Box. Okay. Okay, but that's not bad. So we now have two, I like how I have both Shelly Super, or Star Powers, but what's really cool is that I could just hop on my account and just check the shop office, because shop always offers, like every other day, it has 2,000 coin offers for level 9s, 
So it's actually, that's really cool. Power points, 210 for 39 gems on any brawler. Let's buy that. So I can do Colt. That would kind of be a waste of value, I feel. Not going to do Primo since he's already close. 210. 210. Um, I think we should do Brock. Brock's really well-rounded. I like Brock. Let's give it to Brock, and let's spend 70 coins on Piper. Okay, and that is going to be it for the video today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, box opening is always super fun for me and super nerve-wracking. I'm going to definitely hop on to Power Play on the Mini next season. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I always love opening boxes. It's always super fun. And I'm going to be showing you guys probably some live Power Play soon. So again, mic coming in. Everything's cool. Sorry for no video yesterday. I was just really stressed out about my mic settings. I was playing with it. And it's just, it's just the mic quality isn't good enough. So I'm super excited to get the new one. But anyways, it's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. We're going to be speaking a lot about the World Finals tomorrow. Epic games yesterday. Congratulations to all the winning teams. And to the losing teams, you know, all of them played amazing. So congrats. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys later. Peace.